fuck is happening? Well, it doesn't sound like the call was no big deal. It sounds like it was important to you. Sophie's alive. Did I... Did I actually manage to rewind time? Mac, are you okay? It kind of seems like you're on drugs. Huh? Oh. No, I'm just... really happy you're here with me. And your mom. So, drugs then? Sorry, uh, what were we talking about? Somebody mentioned a phone call? Hmm, yes. I was shocked too. I didn't know people still answered their phones. Funny, Mom. And yeah, it wasn't a big deal. It was just from the publisher. Right, your book. The secret book. I'm so proud of my girl. Publishing is always such a difficult endeavor. Thanks, Mom. Is no one going to take our order? It's been, like, a few minutes. Have you ever had a food service job? Like, ever? I can go ask what the holdup is, Yasmin. No sweat. See? That is so thoughtful of you, Maxine. No need. A whole place could use a facelift, to be honest. Come on, Yasmin. You don't have anywhere else to be? I need to ask Sophie about... God, where do I even start? What is that? Oh shit. Dude, your nose. It's fine. Just a nosebleed. Um, back in a sec. How is Sophie posting right now?
glad we did this. This? This lunch. They can entertain each other. They've had years of practice. I still can't believe Safi is here. Alive. Having lunch with Yasmin as if everything is normal. As if I didn't see her die two days ago. In case this does all go sideways. It was supposed to be a candid. <sighs> You'll never catch me alive. Safia, come now. I swear, one day I'll get a candidate of Safi. Hey, so... Did you do any campus activities when you were in school? You know all about my college days, Safia. Yeah, I know about your GPA. And the drugs you took. What? Come on, Mom. I'm supposed to see through your invulnerable mom mask as I age. I like that you took drugs. Safia? Maxine is here. She's my employee. What? You can have lunch with your employee, but you can't tell her about all the drugs you used to do? Legally? Yes. What crazy system is running this country? Come on, Mom. I'm supposed to see through your invulnerable mom mask as I age. I, I guess that prankster hasn't been back. Bet Amanda's glad. Where's that sound coming from? Isn't Krampus canceled? Is all of this for that Krampus party? Who's performing? It's for the Krampus roast. Oh man, is this your first time? Yeah, Krampus on campus is, um... Interesting. Yeah, that. December 6th. So, it's the same day here. I didn't go back in time. Something else is happening. Hell yeah, Diamond. Way to go. Nice to see this place gearing up for Christmas. This truly fills me with the holiday spirit. Was something here? I guess they're trading stuff out. <laughs> Wherever I am, looks like beer still exists. Unfortunate. Wow, these really are the worst lines I've seen.
Sweet, of course. There's a snapping turtle, so there's an Amanda. Hey, stranger. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing good. Normal. Hmm. Cool. Convincing. <laughs> I uh, shot you a couple texts. I don't know if you saw them. Remind me what we decided on last time we talked. My brain is sort of leaking out of my ears. <laughs> that time of year, huh? Um, a couple nights ago, you asked me if I wanted to hang. Uh, I said yes. Therefore, we decided that we would, in the near future, you know, hang. <laughs> Ringing any bells? Uh, yes, I... <clears throat> Loud and clear. <laughs> I should get back to work. Take it easy, eh? Okay, I still talked to Amanda two days ago. So far, everything here seems basically the same, except... I was hoping my nosebleed days were behind me. It feels connected to that humming, and whatever caused it. Wait, you mean entirely closed off? Yeah, there's police tape around it and everything. Didn't the nebula close down like a decade ago? Yeah, but people broke in to party all the time. Apparently, whoever broke into the bowling alley totally trashed the place. There's glass everywhere. Holy shit. Now where are the 12-year-olds gonna do parkour? Hopefully somewhere with less tennis. Gender-neutral bathrooms. We love to see it. My gut tells me it's not good news, because why would it be? How could Vin mix me up with Safi?
shit, this is the Amanda I talked to this morning? Max, you're here. I'm here. Surprise. You good? I'm okay. You really cheered me up earlier. Happy to lend out my comedic stylings to girls in need. <laughs> Thanks. Are you here for... We already talked in her office. She seems to be doing, you know, bad. God knows. I offered her free coffee for as long as she wants it. I gotta get back to it. Don't forget I'm here for you, okay? Thanks, Amanda. Bow before your pickup line, queen. Oh, hi, Miss Caulfield. I'm sorry for your loss. Huh? You were close to Safi, right? Oh, yeah. Thanks. I appreciate it. No Christmas decorations on this side. Oh no. I hope Amanda didn't spend all her soup energy on cooking for me. Another Polaroid from our mystery photographer. No, Tony, I love it. I do. It's as thoughtful as ever. No, no buts. Only, I know you. If you send me a gift, it means you won't be coming this year either. Krampus isn't unsettling, it's fun. But honestly, I wanted you to finally meet Safi and Max. You love them. Right, next year for sure. And thank you again for the gift, Tony. I mean it. Love you back, babe. hearing stuff from that other world? I didn't see Moses in the Snapping Turtle, though. This makes no sense. I hate that they canceled Krampus for one dead student. Jesus Christ, bro. I don't mean it in an insensitive way. Just death rates on college campuses aren't zero. People die all the time. Do people get shot all the time? I guess not. <laughs> Another Yasmin. OG Yasmin? She's. Hi, Yasmin. Oh, Maxine. You're here. I'd invite you to sit down, but. Uh... I understand. I didn't expect to see you here. When we spoke this morning, I wasn't planning on coming, but I couldn't help habit. Safi and I used to have lunch here every week. Terrible food. But it's close. Anyhow, take care. I'm sorry, Maxine. I'm all tapped out. She's so strong. I'd be a total mess in her shoes. She's so strong. I'd be a total mess in her shoes. Hmm. 
Hang in there, Max. It's gonna be okay. Okay, so I can cross back and forth. That's good to know. Safi and Yasmin are probably wondering where I am. I should get back to them. Right, of course. There's a snapping turtle, so there's an Amanda. Look forward to seeing you there. They can entertain each other. They've had years of practice. Honestly, Safia, I wish you'd have told me sooner. I was getting around to it. All clear? We don't need to get you a blood transfusion. Oh, I'm golden. Probably just the weather, you know? Oh. Did the forecast call for massive nosebleeds? Duty calls. Send me the bill for the windshield, please, Safia. Windshield? Another piece of shit pie. Someone... Hold on, it's easier if I just show you. Jesus. Fuck, Safia. Is that your car? Charming, right? Found it this morning. You don't think it's some sort of a threat? From who? Vegans? Stop eating burgers, or this is about to be you. <laughs> this is gonna sound bananas, but I feel like I've met this cow. You have. It's from right over there. <sighs> Whatever, I gotta meet the tow truck. Wait. Hold on. The broken horn. It looks like there was something written on it. Max, you know I adore you, but read the room, bud. I'm not really in the mood to stare at photos of my fucked up car all day. Yeah, sorry. It's okay, Rathi. She's gone. Oh, tell me my proposal was shitty, Isabel. That would be a bald faith lie. Right? I challenge you. I challenge anyone on this campus to devise a better pitch. Impossible. Who in this day and age would be against a four-day work week? Dr. Yasmin Fayad, it turns out. The same school president gracing the covers of magazines as the new face of higher ed? The only thing more surprising than her rejection was the speed at which it came. I really thought things would be different under her leadership. More full eye. She has time for lunch with her daughter once a week, and I can't have one Friday for my son's soccer game? I'm right there with you. I'd love to be able to make my grief group with any sort of regularity. When she told us a ways back that family was of the utmost importance, she must have just met her family. She isn't the only one with her family. Neither are we. You sound like you're scheming. You and I weren't the only ones with something to gain if your proposal had passed. The more I think about it, the more I realize how comfortable Yasmin has gotten in her fancy leather chair behind her fancy wooden desk. You're not wrong. She made a lot of moves and a lot of headlines when she started, and then... crickets. I don't know what happened to the fiery woman who pushed the board, but she seems to have cooled considerably. Then it's up to us to be the fiery ones now. It's up to us to push back. Hmm. Her rejection of my proposal isn't the end of the road. It's the beginning of a new one. If I could look at the- Hold up. Safi's alive in this world. Her car probably didn't get trashed in the other, right?
look forward to seeing you there. Hey, Amanda. I have kind of a weird question. Do you ever have non-weird questions? Occasionally. On a leap year. The whole year or just February 29th? Now who's asking weird questions? <sighs> All right, hit me then. What's the question? Have you had any skulls go missing lately? Wow. Um, that's an extremely specific question. And I can't believe the answer is yes. Our only skull, in fact. I'm dying to know why you ask. Because it somehow ended up in Sophie's windshield. Ha! <laughs> uh, wait, what the fuck? Are you serious? Yeah, I'm trying to unravel the mystery. Jesus. A skull? I mean, have they never heard of a brick? When did you notice your cow got rustled? Literally just this morning, before I clocked in. It had to be sometime last night. Did you see anything suspicious? I mean, the Abraxas kids are perpetually suspicious. They took up like six tables last night. Maybe one of them saw something. Hell, maybe one of them stole it. Thanks. I appreciate the info. Anytime, Nancy Drew. I bet beer tastes just as bad in this reality. It's December in Vermont. I told you it can't be inside. That's a safe zone. Taking the bathroom key was like a really good idea. Did you see how many drinks he... Oh, uh, hey, don't mind us. What are they planning to do with the bathroom key? Hey, do you have the bathroom key? Uh, yeah. Could I grab that from you? We're using it. We'll put it back when we're done. You're using it? Yup. They are definitely up to something with that key. Not that they're going to talk about it with me standing here. Only I could get my hands on that cow skull. What are they planning to do with the bathroom key? I should use my power to look in on them. From Dead World.
Oofa doofa. That's gonna take some getting used to. Wait, are you really considering taking the job? I thought you were just fucking around when you applied. I was, but a fellow grad... If I could look at that skull up close, I could learn something. No Christmas decorations on this side. There she is, safe and sound. Fuck, size does matter. I'm going to have to find a way to get up there. I'm pretty sure I just saw a stepladder. Where was that? She's so strong. I'd be a total mess in her shoes. Oh, they canceled the Christmas party. I guess that makes sense. That's the way back across. So 
he comes out to get the bathroom key, and we shoot him? You're doing good so far. Then what? Then nothing. Then he's out, and we're one step closer to the prize money. What about the girl? There'll be time for her later. Just focus on him for now. Oh, shit. This must be that big assassin game all the undergrads play. They're using the bathroom key as bait. Doubt they'll just give that up. Where else could I get a replacement key? I know I saw a stepladder. My memory's not that bad, so where is it? the way back across. That's the way back across. Same snapping turtle, same bathroom key, right? Gender-neutral bathrooms. We love to see it. What are they planning to do with the bathroom key? Yeah, let me just strap on my rocket boots. I'll need a few inches. I'm gonna get that down. Finally, 
a chance to live out my lifelong dream of being a tall girl. Is that a signature? Ugh, this is so stylized, I can barely read it. Lucas Colmenero. Lucas Colmenero. Oh, shit. Did Lucas throw this through her window? That seems even less likely than the Abraxas kids. Maybe they were in it together? This doesn't make any sense. What is going on? What if it's not just a prank? What if this Safi is in danger too? I just got her back. At least I know where to start. Lucas Colmenero and the Abraxas Society. Find the Skull Rustler, save Safi, hopefully. And my best leads are Lucas Colmenero and the Abraxas Society. Vin's the head honcho of Abraxas. I should cross over and see if he's around. Maybe I should do a little digging into Gwyn Hunter too. She was acting pretty odd earlier. 
I should cross over and start asking questions. Whoever fucked with Safi's car isn't just gonna out themselves. Whoever messed with Sophie's car is in the other. If living Sophie could see this, I bet she'd be mortified. It's all so earnest. I'll bet you $50 they put this sign here because some drunk frat bros tried it. If Safi were here, she could explain the poetry inherent in abstract metal balls. Or something. I need to get to the other timeline. I need to find a place to cross to the other timeline. Whoever messed with Sophie's car. Now, if I were a bovine vandal, where would I? There's Vin. If it was a Braxis that stole the cow skull, they might have done it on Vin's orders. If some hot chips don't get you an A, I don't know what will. This world's Vin also seems to enjoy an audience. And, uh, don't get cute, either. You find it, you bring it right back to me. Well? Go! Find it! Undergrads, <laughs> am I right? <laughs> Daddy, 
Can't live with them. Can't run a shadowy, secret society without them. <laughs> you ever want to borrow one, just let me know. No one should be without a lackey, Max. And yet, I've made it this far somehow. You lose something? Mostly my patience. Okay. Hey, I... Um, yeah, yeah. Cute banter, barely restrained sexual tension, etc. I'm busy, Max. Another time. Wow. Okay. What does Vin have them looking for? Let's say I find your missing patients. Then I wouldn't be busy anymore, would I? This world's Vin also seems to enjoy an audience. What the? Note to self, avoid this bush. That person's skating on thin ice. And I can't believe I don't even mean that metaphorically. Metalworking is kind of like photography. You never know quite how the environment will shape your work. Sophie told me the campus would be gorgeous for the holidays. I'm glad I actually get that's my handwriting. Wait, am I the mystery photographer? Four diamond a gazillion points. Ready zero. I thought we said no more ambushes. Stop whining, you're fine. But the snowball war got called off in Dead World. I don't think this is the other timeline. It must be some other one. Phil. They have our man, and he knows too much. Hey, shh. Huh? Oh. D hey there. Oh, uh, hey. What did Vin put these guys up to? You know, if you want to ask Diamond out, I can introduce you. I'm 70% sure she doesn't bite. How about I put in a I good should word see what and those Rax tell me what Vin's missing? To. Good talk.
There has to be some way I can hear what they're saying without them catching me. Diamonds in Abraxas. Maybe she knows what Ven is looking for. Waiting for someone, Diamond? Mm-hmm. Moses. He asked me to help him carry snacks back to the lab, but I guess he forgot. Isn't that kind of menial for a TA? So my job is menial now? I didn't. I'm fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Moses probably just got distracted. Off polishing his new telescope. If it were anyone but him, I'd ask if that was a euphemism. <laughs> Those Abraxas kids are really staring, huh? That one on the left is super into me. I danced with him once, once at a club last week. Him? I mean, I was just looking to dance. If I wanted more, he would not be my first choice. Besides, they're on the clock for Vin now. Probably trying to catch me in unabraxis-like behavior. What even qualifies as unabraxis-like? Let's see. Sincerity, brokenness, or the hint of brokenness. Oh, and challenging Vin's authority. Vin's lost something. It's clearly rattled him. I'll, uh, go ask the goon squad. Good call. It's freezing. I can't believe you dragged me outside for this. First of all, they're way too big to be normal. And secondly, look at those toes. They're all sorts of fucked. Ah, that's because they aren't toes, genius. They're claws. These are classic bird tracks. Can we go now? I want to get back home before this edible kicks in. Art student prank or horrifying creature. The world may never know. I know these look like bird tracks, but there's more. Check it. Webbing. Hell, the size of these things. Ugh, I know where you're going, so just don't. I'm not gonna risk losing my extremities for the shit. For a wild dinosaur chase? The Vermont Awful is not necessarily a dinosaur. Personally, I prefer the Griffin version of the story. Head and wings of an eagle, tail and body of a lion. I'm only interested in real sightings, not this fantastic creature shit. There are reports of the awful dating back to the early 20th century. Oh, you mean back when some knob looking for attention could make up a story about an ancient Greek beast lost in the woods of upstate Vermont? Nothing like a fun mystery to get you out of bed, huh, guys? Damn, harsh. What happened to? I'm open to anything. I don't know. Maybe it was the Caledon Leprechaun last fall. With the green state grubs we chased over spring break. It's not as much fun as it used to be. What are you trying to say? We don't have to look into everything. From now on, we can be a more discerning organization. I'm listening. Like you said, only legitimate cases, scientifically based, like the possibility of extinct species or fossil-supported paleontology. So, paleontology, as in dinosaurs? Well, um, not exactly. 
You're still talking about the Vermont awful, aren't you? If it's not a griffin, it's a pterodactyl. No joke. Those tracks are not mammalian. And the webbing. I think we need some time apart. Vin seems really distracted. Whatever he lost must be important. Interesting endeavor, maintaining snow art. Men, what's stopping you from dressing like this? Would Safi even want a memorial tree? And would Yasmin insist if she didn't? This is a work of art that came from a strange and tortured mind. Daily platypus facts. Is this what I've been missing all my life? Honestly, how often do opportunities like this come along? I wonder when my subscription kicks in. It looks like someone added Safi's name. That's, that's actually really Sven's lackeys aren't in this world. Facials are hitting issues to unlock it. I'm not sure why. Well, but if the passcode, Diamond can probably find a way into it. Ah, shit. Good point. Holy shit. Someone took Vin's phone? And they think it was Diamond. I can use this. Kick us out of the Braxis. But when we find it, he'll have to move us up the ranks, right? Last time I was at this bench was different. clearly takes priority. How do I protect the Safi I have left? Should I be worried? The last time I had powers, everything went to complete and utter shit.
So, how do you keep things fresh after literal decades of passionate embracing? Oh wow, I hate that these are on both sides. Go Cardinals? So, how do you keep things fresh after literal decades of passionate embracing? Maybe I can get some answers from her about Vin's missing phone. So, if you're wondering why those Abraxas kids are eyeballing you, it's cause someone stole Vin's phone. Oh, seriously? They think it was me? <laughs> the clownery! Of course they do. Of course. <laughs> I don't get it. Diamond is in Abraxas too. Why would Vin's goons think she took his phone? I take it I was right to assume they're full of shit. Always a safe assumption. But if you find out who did it, tell them I owe them a drink. So, are you and Vin... rivals? Enemies? To hear him tell it? Both. If and to hear you tell it? Vin is one of those yappy little purse dogs who swears he's a pit. You don't exactly strike me as the typical, uh, Abraxan. In the Vin Lang mold? God, no. But the org itself has potential. If we could just get him away from it. The Ven Lang mold seems pretty resilient, Diamond. Everything does, Max. Until it isn't. Okay. Cool. Thanks, Diamond. And hey, if you talk to Vin again, tell him the only thing I'm taking from him is his crown. Oh wow, I hate that these are on both sides. Nothing like a fun mystery to get you out of bed, huh guys? Time to clear Diamond's name. This world's Vin also seems to enjoy an audience. So, bad news, I'm not sure who took your phone. Good news, it wasn't Diamond. Holy shit. You figured all that out with like, zero clues. I just knew who to ask and how. <laughs> so, about my question. Free Tuesday after seven, and I'm partial if Finn to Japanese single If Finn stops focusing mom. on Diamond, maybe he'll answer some questions. That's whiskey. <laughs> yes, but damn, do I have so much to teach you? So your place or mine? Cute. 
and at least a little tempting. But that's not what I was going to ask. Ooh, no fun. So, someone fucked up Sophie's car. They didn't take anything, but they used a cow skull to do it. Jesus. Max, that's crazy. Is she okay? She's fine. Who would do something like that, though? You mean, who in Abraxas would? It's esoteric enough to feel like the handiwork of your, uh, organization. <laughs> A cow skull. <laughs> what are we, Leonard Skinner? Come on, this one is way outside our wheelhouse. Anytime some nonsense happens on campus, people trip over themselves accusing Abraxas. Vandalism, destruction of property, that's beneath us, Max. We're performers. certainly seemed performative. Am anonymous. What would even be the point? Besides, how do you even get a cow skull through a windshield? Hold on. I didn't say anything about our windshield. Wild, right? Mm. I'd love to keep chatting and freezing my balls off, but I've got a phone to find. And if I need to reach you? I'll end up in my office eventually. Ben, what did you do? <sighs> Glad my other suspects had the sense to stay indoors. Wise words. Thank you.
I can probably find Gwen in her office. And I think Lucas has a habit of working over by the cafe. Alexa. This looks like one hell of an art final. I should check it out. Pretty sure you need a time machine to even find a phone booth now. Maybe I need to do something first to get it to work? Can you give me a second? Surely another minute and a half isn't going to taint the building with my presence. Just leave everything behind, Professor. You won't need any university materials. Yeah, but I do need my car keys if you want me to leave the campus, don't I? Think. You're not to return to Caledon property before the hearing, under penalty of law. I know how this works. You don't need to read me my rights. Just doing my job, Professor. That'll go over great in Nuremberg. This is crazy. This is fucking crazy. I told Yasmin already that none of it's true. She knows it's fucking bullshit. Wow. This is all just I guess some something kind of crazy screwy is going thing. down here, too. But at least... Yeesh. I wonder what that was about. Okay, uh... What do I want to say to the future? Some things are going to be out of your control, and that's okay. That's life. Let it surprise you. It's easy to give advice. A lot harder to take it. Damn. I didn't know a phone booth could feel like a personal attack. What he's doing is wrong. It always felt like it was, but now I know it's true. I was starting to think my writing just wasn't good enough. How fucked is that? But she stood up for me. Nobody else has ever done that. Ever. So you know what? Fuck that guy. I won't stop writing because he's uncomfortable. That's my message to the future. Wow. Whatever he was talking about, I hope it worked out.
I need to start somewhere. Gwen left so much behind. They'd better let her come back for it. So this Gwen just got escorted out by security, while Dead World Gwen is having hushed phone calls about the police and trying to break into locked bookcases. Time to snoop like I've never snooped before. I'm going to read this, I swear. If I ever have time for pleasure reading again. I had decided I would hitchhike across the country. If I still wanted to die when I got to the Pacific, then I could do it peacefully. Hell of an opening line, Gwen. about a green thumb. Gwen's wife. Claudia, I think. I met her at a faculty event last month. Gwen fucking adores her. Oh my god, an answering machine. As I... would never do what Gwen what is this about Sold her weekly meetings with Safi? Why?
With the way they hustled Gwen out, I don't think these students are getting their grades anytime soon. Whoa, Reggie got an A minus? Loretta doesn't seem like the type to be happy with a bee. The way they hustled Gwen out, I don't think these students are getting their grades anytime soon. Almost a full cup of coffee. Gwen must have just sat down to drink it. Live fast, eat ass. Wise words. What a it's like a bumper sticker evolved into a bookend.
fiction, nonfiction, poetry, plays, a bunch of scenes. Is there a between Gwen and me? I bet we've road tripped most of the country. Caked up Mothman, goaded with the sauce. God, why didn't I trade travel stories with Gwen before all this? These emails are from way back, like before Sophie knew she wanted to be a poet. I knew Gwen mentored Safi, but I didn't realize she was this involved. This is the book I got for Gwen. Wait. So Gwen is asking questions about Safi's death. Why would Safi have started acting off on Friday? Something must have happened. These emails are from way back. Like, before Safi knew she wanted to be a poet. Looks like Gwen's a popular girl. Dr. Hunter.
Hi, Professor Hunter. This is Vin Long from Dr. Fai's office. I'm just calling to confirm an all-hands staff meeting this afternoon in the second floor lounge in the administration building. Attendance is, unfortunately, mandatory. Gwen, I hope you didn't. I'm not sure if you should. I don't know. Just, I wouldn't blame yourself. Why would Safi have started acting off on Friday? Something must have happened. That must have been some call with Maria on Friday. Gwen even planned out a time to follow up. Gwen is guilty of plant neglect. Although Drink up, buddy. If Safi was an undergrad, this reading must have been at least, what, four years ago? This thing looks older than Caledon. Damn, talk about a green thumb. Never get a chance to look around Gwen's office like this again. I'm going to read this, I swear. If I ever have time for pleasure reading again. You would never do... what, Gwen? Gwen canceled her weekly meetings with Safi? Oh my god, an answering machine, as I live and breathe. Dr. Hunter, by now, I'm sure you've checked your- Oh my god, an answering machine, as I live and breathe. You would never do Gwen K. I don't want to hear excuses or lies. Oh my god, an answering machine. As I live and breathe. Um, Dr. Hunter? This is David from Intro to Nonfiction. Um, I saw the notice in the lecture hall that your classes are going to be cancelled for the rest of the semester, and I just wanted to check up and See if you're all right. I mean, I don't know. We're all kind of worried. Okay, um, bye. Gwen. Gwen. If you're screening your calls, pick up. I just got an email from Boss Bitch. 
and the phone is ringing off the hook. What the fuck is happening? That must have been some call with Maria on Friday. All right, Hacker Max. Let's go. Search sent to Maria. Uh, enter. Wait, this is Safi's publisher. Gwen got Safi's book canceled? These emails are from way back, like before Sophie knew she wanted to be a poet. I knew Gwen mentored Sophie, but... I thought Gwen helped Sophie set this all up in the first place. Why would she... No, this all has to add up. Somehow. Lucas tends to work over by the cafe. By the way, did you get your ticket to the Burlington Book Expo yet? Uh, no. When is it again? Shiloh, it's soon. <sighs> Shit, it's probably too late since Lucas Colmanero's giving a talk. I'll live, Alexa. I promise. I can always go next time. Lucas won't be there next time, and you'll probably be knee-deep in law school thoughts. Probably. But picture this. What if Alexa Weiss gave a talk? It's the book expo. You have to have a book to, you know, expo. And you will. I know you have a book in you. Wait. We just call me Damn. I might even get my own standee. Hell, we could both get standees. Hold up. We? Don't be coy, Shiloh. The mausoleum fire deserves just as much love. There's room for both of us under Lucas's wings. Sure, sure. I'll have lots of free time in law school for that. Exactly. You and me, we're going to be Caledon legends. The cow skull had Lucas's name on it. He might know something. Going to the Nationals. Your grandfather would have been proud, Ra Hey, Rati. Done any more work on that proposal yet? <sighs> it's funny you say that, because I was just thinking about backburnering it. Wait, you were? What happened? I knew what happened to Safi would have ripple effects, but... I had at least three of my students ask for extensions on their finals, Isabel. I wasn't aware they even knew Safi that well. Four of my students did the same. I think for some of them, this is the first death that's touched them this closely. It's hard.
All I wanted was to spend more time with my son, with my husband. Everything happened so much. It just I... Wow. Just... Wow. I've never seen Lucas look this happy. I wonder who he's talking to. Lucas is usually in the cafe at this time. this crime involved a biohazard? One night, as I was closing the turtle, I went to restock the bathroom and I saw that someone had taken a dookie in the sink. And they left some dookie smeared toilet paper on the ground. But who's dookie? And who would go over to the toilet, get toilet paper, and then go shit in the sink? This was premeditated. It lit a fire in my passion for justice, and I became dead set on finding the perpetrator. Jeez, Lucas looks exhausted. Too bad. I Max. <sighs> Sorry. Busy, busy. Um, need something? Actually, I... Catherine. I've been waiting for an hour. No, just put Robbie on. Oh, sure. I'm only the boy's father. Who fucking cares, right? How can you say- Whoa. Adds a whole new meaning to nuclear family. If Lucas has it out for Safi, there might be something incriminating in that case. Is that an email? Dated December 5th. That's when Sophie's car was vandalized. I need to get in that briefcase. Instant lock opening powers would be great. In the meantime, I have to find that key. <sighs> his notes are great. No wonder his classes are always full.
Robbie, I got a split. Uh huh. <laughs> I love you too, buddy. Weird. This yeah. Lucas seems to be on great terms with his family. Hey. Bye. Lucas. Max. Can't imagine it would be much fun to assassinate my character without an audience. Maybe I was a little rough earlier. With everything going on, I just... I'm sorry. Apology accepted. Grief is hard. The trick is not to let it change your character. That's a lot of books. A lot of my book. Signed copies for the Burlington Book Expo. They invited me to deliver the keynote this year. Have you seen the standee they put up of me? It's hard to miss. Yeah. Better to put butts in the seats, huh? Here's hoping. <laughs> the standards for the expo really declined over the years. <laughs> We've had a lot of mediocre Yikes. visitors. This dude can it's talk. It's a shame. How am I going to get that key? Years and years and years, people still love the characters. Oh, crap. I forgot. I, what time is it? <laughs> I have to go give something to Moses um, before his class. Good luck with the book expo. It's an excellent cover, isn't it? Guess that explains why his signature was on the thing. What's the deal with the skull? Ah, you haven't read it, I see. The symbolism is clever, but not lofty. Right. They've got the original skull up in the snapping turtle, you know. Had my book launch party there. Oh, yeah? You can have that copy if you want. It's already signed. If Lucas really is somehow involved, this might come in handy. If I were Lucas, what would grab my attention? I bet Lucas would really hate if something happened to this. Now, what can I use to do some permanent damage? Lucas is trying to get some work done. Maybe some loud music will throw off his groove. That would sure leave a mark on anything made of, say, cardboard. Dare I channel my inner Chloe? Do you mind? People are trying to work here. Turn that down! Thank you. Dang, I need a different distraction.
Now, how exactly do I want to get under Lucas's skin? The classics are classics for a reason. Oh my goodness, who would do a thing like this? Someone should tell Lucas right away. She returns. I take it you've delivered your... something to Moses? My something? Right, my something. Yep, something delivered. So, not to be the bearer of bad news, but... Somebody drew horns in a tail on your book, Expo Standee. Are you serious? I just put that... Come on! Some people just have no respect for other people's property. Come on, un stupid marker. Huh, the devil really is in the details. Absolutely disrespectful. Damn it! It'll take too long to get another one. Time to reveal your juicy secrets. All right, Lucas. Let's see if you're the one who smashed Sophie's windshield. Yeah, not you, Lucas. Seriously. Lucas was with his agent last night. Not the snapping turtle. He couldn't have vandalized Toffee's car. So, who did? No point in looking through Lucas's stuff now. Satisfying though it is. Lucas was an AA? Good for him. So this is how the literati spend their free time. Guess this Lucas didn't get a chance to put this up yet. That damn cow skull again. Who threw this fucking thing? His agent tells him where to park, but what does Lucas Colmanero do? Park where he wants anyway. Did Lucas go to a gun range? Does Lucas have a gun? Soft. 
café? Is Lucas really trying to file a restraining order against Safi? Does she know about this? I'd better show her. Max? What are you... Lucas, this isn't... You can't tell her. What? You can't send Safi that photo. Let me explain. Please. Catherine, my ex-wife, she called last night, mad as hell, because Robbie, our son, was repeating back to her things I supposedly told him, but I never... I mean, I could never... The shit Robbie says I told him, it, it... It makes me sick to think about. Maybe he was making it up? Acting out for attention. No. No. Even if Robbie was the type, this shit, I mean... Where would a kid even get ideas like that? He told her, I said he was the reason for the divorce. And somehow that was the least fucked up thing I'm purported to have said. This still doesn't explain the restraining order. I wasn't even there that night, Max. But someone said those things to my son. And you think it was Safi? Listen. Safi once threatened to turn Robbie against me. I know she's capable of it. Wait. Why would Robbie trust Safi? Does he even know her? She used to babysit for us, believe it or not. Robbie adored her. And none of this has... Anything to do with what happened to Safi's car? Something happened to her car? Never mind. Forget it. Look. I know she's your friend. I know you have no reason to believe me over her, but... 
just give me a chance to get this shit in order first without her interfering. I just want to make sure my boy never has to hear anything like that again. This could all be a lie. One big smear campaign against Safi. But, oh, what if it's not? I deleted it. This is between you and her. None of my beeswax. Thank you. If I can't find any evidence to back this up, I don't even know. At least I have time to look. I think I've wrung all I can out of Lucas today. Hope Venn's back at his desk now. I still have questions for that guy. Time to follow up with Vin about that windshield slip. Let's see if I can't make this canary sing. Hi, Mama. Can you hear me okay? No, I'm just turning in some end of semester paperwork. Final grades for my Astronomy 101 students. I should head over to Admin and get some answers out of Vin. I really hope that's just coffee. Is that a therapist's business card? I'll bet some folks on the other side could use that. This must belong to someone flashy, and forgetful, and cold.
I want to be a bust. How does one become a bust? I'm going to call you Pauline. Have you been watered recently, Pauline? I don't think this is what the artist intended. Back to normal. The undergrads are restless. Cozy. Why, there's something on your lip, my good man. And not even a thank you? Rude. Someone thinks they're funny. <laughs> Dignity restored. I wonder if Sophie's book will make it in here once it's published. She's staring holes into Yasmin's portrait. I wonder why. It's like her eyes follow you wherever you go. This is nice and all, but there's an actual barista just next door. Fancy. Looks like Caledon spared no expense. Guess Vin found his phone. You found it! Kudos! Max! Sorry to startle, just... That was good luck, finding it so fast. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, I... I'm, I'm such an idiot, I just left it on my desk. It's been that kind of day. <laughs> yeah. You still want to get that drink? Come again? You told me your favorite liquor earlier. I assumed that was a not-so-subtle hint. Oh, right. Um, bougie Japanese brandy or whatever. Didn't you say whiskey? So you were paying attention. Well done, Caulfield. You passed my test. Coming back to the cow skull, earlier you guessed that it went through Sophie's windshield. But I never said that part. Lucky guess? I mean, how else would you get a cow skull into a locked car? I mean, things are huge. <laughs> I guess. Why are you asking about this? Sophie's a big girl. Let her deal with her own shit. Did something happen to your phone while it was lost? Huh? Oh, um, no, it's fine. I just can't get it unlocked. gonna lock if I get it wrong again. Wait. You can't remember your own code? I am, like, extremely hungover. You're lucky I can remember who you are. You seem fine out on the quad. I set the code to the year some old fucking magician scientist died. It slipped my mind. Magician? Scientist? <laughs> A Braxis shit. I must have thought it was cool at the time. Uh, can you just... I don't know. Uh, I'm not at my best right now. Sure. 
Vin is definitely hiding something. Getting into that cell phone is my best shot at finding out what. Too hungover to remember a passcode? Jeez. Good thing I know another Vin. I'm on to you, sir. I was literally just in there comforting Yasmin. But this Yasmin doesn't need comforting. Two identical vins mean two identical paths? I know what I'm doing. My grief isn't affecting my brain. No, no, no. Don't tell them that. No. Listen. Can you stall the board? Stall them. I'll be there as soon as I can. Absolutely I am. No, no. Well, yes. I should be taking off because my fucking child is dead, but I don't think that's an option. Too identical. I think we all feel a bit busted sometimes. Those look like they should be in a file folder somewhere. Jeez, somebody robbed an airport lounge. Looks like this Vin is taking a break. Pick a card, any card, or whatever. Looks like this Vin is taking a break. Fucking shit. Oh. Oh. Max. <laughs> it's just you. Huh? What can I do you for? Are you... Pouring whiskey into your coffee? Yes. Any particular reason why? <laughs> World is a fuck, etc., etc. Join me. How many of those do you have? Ooh, just don't check the recycling. <laughs> Is this about Safi? 
Safi, Safi, Safi. Everything is about Safi nowadays. This isn't about Safi, Max. This is about you and me. Right. Come on. Uh, illicit day drinking with your coworkers is sexy. Be sexy, Max. Far be it for me to pass up an opportunity to accrue more sexy points. <laughs> uh, measuring sexiness with imaginary points. Not sexy. Mm, minus five sexy points to me, then. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't we be hanging out on the train tracks? That's where all the kids drank in high school. <laughs> You're from the Pacific Northwest, aren't you? What's that like? Not worth talking about. <laughs> what about you? Where did you drink? Well, at the risk of ruining my rakish reputation, gotta admit, wasn't much of a drinker till I landed here. You came to Caledon for theater, right? <laughs> Got it in one. You know your Vin lore. I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> I like you, Max Caulfield. You feel haunted. What? <laughs> Don't worry, it's good. Uh, haunted people are interesting. Maybe on TV. In real life, haunted people have to live inside their haunted brains. <laughs> yeah. They do. <sighs> I... I actually really needed that. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Sharing is caring. <laughs> hey, uh, Ben? Can I ask for something kind of weird? Ooh, I don't do foot stuff. Damn. <laughs> well, there goes my Friday night. <laughs> Vin does owe me a favor. I have a question. Do you know anything about a dead magician scientist? Jack Parsons, occultist rocket scientist? Oh, maybe. What about him? Nothing, really. I just. They killed him, you know. Just like JFK. Oh. What, um, year did that happen? Hey, any more questions and I'll have to charge you. <sighs> right, of course. Jack Parsons, surely this place is a book on him somewhere. What do they mean? It's called a three-card pull. This one represents my past, a magician. It means I'm exceptionally talented, though you already knew that about me. My present, a nine of wands. Upside down like that, it means I'm exhausted, feeling vulnerable, and, well, guilty as charged. <sighs> And my future, the wheel of fortune in reverse, AKA the fuck around and find out card. I think I'm about to find out.
foreboding. Fear of the future. It's the spice of life, Max. In my experience, we tend to cause the exact thing we're trying to avoid. Where were you last week? That's the fourth bottle I've seen our fearless leader open this afternoon. Is he trying to act all grief-stricken because his boss's kid died? He and Safi were in the same year in undergrad. Maybe they knew each other. So? Everyone knows Vin. Pretty sure my Vin said Jack Parsons was an occultist. I'm going up there with or without you. I have to see it with my own eyes. See what? You talked to one Renicop. What if I told you about sources? Are we really doing this? Okay, let's see. Magnetism, cold spots, lack of fauna. Do I have to spell it out for you? You're describing every paranormal phenomenon ever. Two words. Temporal vortex. Okay, just stop. Stop making that face. You know I hate that face. What? What is it? Two words. Bullshit. That's one word. Acting award? Why, yes. Yes, it is. Aw, poor little guy. What happened to you? Please, don't touch that. It was a gift. I plan on gluing it back together. That's just coffee. We can unlock his phone. Damn, guess Ven's not here. I guess other Ven was looking for answers too. Huh, the cards are different here. Wow, Yasmin wiped out her whole schedule for this disciplinary hearing of Gwen's. Yikes.
Aw, what a cute little guy. Huh. This one's not broken. He won a drama award. Shocker. He won a drama award. Shocker. Sweet. Now he can unlock his phone. A Krampus of your very own. I hope this is the right code. Ah, success. I'm sorry, Vin. I know this is a brutal misuse of powers, but... I need to know if you had anything to do with this. Food pics? Food pics? Mirror selfie? Mirror selfie? Shirtless mirror selfie? Sophie? 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 There's a lot of Sophie in here. I didn't get the impression they were close. Oh my god. Wow, that is really close. Who even were you, Sophie? I really thought I could help. Poke around a little, figure out who has it out for Safi. Bada bing, bada boom. Case solved, right? Why else would my powers come back? Stupid. Now I have more impossible questions than I had to begin with. Lucas filing a restraining order? Vin and Safi sleeping together? Gwen killing Safi's book deal? I have no idea what any of it means. And the worst part is, I can't even talk to you about any of it. I won't be able to save you. Again. Whatever I do, it's going to turn out worse than I could even imagine. Get the fuck off me! I can't breathe! Everyone stay back. Give him some space. He's having a panic attack or something. I'm not I... fucking crazy. I know.
know what I saw up there. All right, an authority figure has arrived. Sort of. Nothing to worry about. Let's give him some space. Can you run and get him some water? You okay, Reggie? <laughs> Am I okay? Fuck. After what I just saw up there. Reggie, up where? The fucking overlook. Yes, I know. I shouldn't have been up there. I'm a fucking idiot. It's okay. I'm not mad. I just want to know what you were doing up there. Remember in your seminar, how you said we should take photos of things that scare us? Uh, well, A plus for following directions, then. Now, you want to tell me what you saw? I saw myself. Another me. Walking around. Working on the puzzle box, the, the one that I gave you earlier. What did this other you want? I wasn't gonna fucking talk to him. I fucking ran, Max. Uh, did you tell anyone what you saw? Did you tell... Loretta, thank you. Can you take Reggie to the infirmary? Sure thing, Miss Caulfield. I'll see you later, yeah? Just make sure he's all right. Thanks, Max. Time to go back up there. I can handle this. He's not just gonna let me by, is he? There must be a way around this guy. Hey, I think I left some equipment on the Overlook. Can I? Sorry, miss. This area is secured. Active crime scene. You'll have to wait. And how long will it be active? For as long as it takes. Good chat. There must be a way around this guy. Better start heading up to the...
overlook. Hope there's a place to cross back over on the way. Wrapped up in a blanket burrito right oh, now. Alex, you have 24 hours before the world ends. What would you do? From here, I should be able to make it up to the Overlook. I've left my phone in some bizarre places, but never this bizarre. Hello? Hello? This is Safi? Yes, yeah, Safi. Hi, God. Speaking. Shit! This goes against everything I learned in horror movies, but I should check for more weird shit. I hope he doesn't think we're BFFs now. Vibes here are way off. I should look into why. Jesus, fuck! You've got to be kidding me. Do you think it was a student who didn't like their final grade? I doubt it. Usually those kinds tip me off with an angry, poorly written email. So, do you know who did do this? No. Jesus, why does it feel like Gwen's always got something wild going on, no matter what timeline I'm in? Last time I saw this Gwen, she was being escorted out of the building. I should ask her about so- Hey, Gwen. Thanks. Careful there, Pineapple Express. Shit. Did pot get stronger since I was in school? Before I came out, I had this boss. A free thinker. Who adopted his worldview wholesale from shouty YouTubers. Yikes. And a raging transphobe to boot. They're brainwashing our kids, blah, blah, blah. 
Of course. I was afraid if I said something. Said anything, he'd... Figure me out. But... When I was alone, I could conjure the perfect soliloquy to shut him up. Make him feel as small as he made me. Isn't there, like, a special word for that? In French, right? L'esprit de l'escalier. The wit of the staircase. I take it you're acquainted. Oh, yeah. That one's a Max Caulfield greatest hit. Point is... I've always been able to think of something to say eventually. But what do you say about something like that? Gwen, what is this? Video proof. Allegedly. From Yasmin herself. Trafficking of a controlled substance on campus. Hold on. There's no way Yasmin thinks you were selling drugs. How could she not? That there is security footage of someone who looks like me. Dealing to students. Someone who looks like you. This is such bullshit. Can't you fight it? Fight it? How? <laughs> that wasn't me, it was my evil twin. <clears throat> no. No. Fuck it. They've already made up their minds. You don't mean that. Thanks for believing in me, Max, but... I'm sick of fighting to prove I deserve to be here. Lucas shouting at his son? Reggie seeing himself here in the other timeline? Is Gwen another victim of doppelganger-itis? Or is she just trying to cover her ass. If I could look at that footage, maybe I could figure it out. Gwen? What are you... What are you doing? Saying goodbye. And... Fuck you! Fuck you. To Caledon! To Yasmin! And feeling powerless. Gotta take catharsis where you can get it. So, how does Catharsis feel? Honestly? Terrifying. But also... Feels pretty fucking great to set something on fire right now. Thanks, Max. I appreciate you listening. I appreciate... You hearing me. Quinn, wait. I need to ask you something.
Is it true they canceled Safi's book deal? So... She told you? Word travels. You were her mentor, right? Do you know why? In my experience, some mysteries are better left that way. Now, let's see if I can find what Reggie saw, or thinks he saw. Did something used to be here? I can't remember. Caulfield, you, uh, out for a stroll, too? Loretta, isn't there somewhere else you could be right now? I'm sure there is, but... nowhere as exciting as this place, huh? How did you even get past the officer? How did you... Holy shit, what are those? You can see those? Yeah. Do you think this is what Reggie saw? That's not really mine to share. I, I'm not trying to... I just want to make sure he's okay. Honest. He will be. I think. I was gonna come up here anyway after the suicide tip, but... Seeing Reggie like that... I don't know. Made it feel... real. Wait, suicide tip? One of the beat cops let it slip. You run a successful podcast for a few years and you find ways to get people to open up. Speaking of opening up... I got a lead. I could cut you in. One second I'm a source, and the next I'm a fellow investigator? <sighs> Sounds like there's strings attached. No, it's not like that. I just... I feel like I kind of owe you after the whole interview thing. Maya Okada. One of Safi's classmates during undergrad. They were friends. Then... Maya died a couple years back. Suicide. Apparently. You think it's a pattern? Maybe. Yeah. 
Two promising young writers, both dead, both by their own hand, according to official sources. But Safi didn't kill herself. Like I said, a pattern. Maybe. Explain something to me. Why is this so important to you? Safi was my friend. Because I hate it when things don't make sense. I have to go. got your text. Tried calling, but you didn't pick up. It's cool, Max. Everything's cool. It's not cool, though. It is not. So what's the damage? TLDR version? Pretty sure I'm the number one suspect. What? Why? Besides that being true for most of my life? Well, I did... I did do something. I took Sophie's camera. Moses, why did you- It wasn't like a rational decision. I wasn't thinking. I just- When we found her that night, I saw the camera. And I thought the last picture she took in her life was that selfie of the three of us. And Safi would never want to have that camera, that picture, in the hands of the fucking police. So I brought it back to my office. And then I realized, what the fuck am I doing? That's evidence in a murder case. So I just... I hid it in there. In my office. Moses! I screwed up, Max. And now I don't know what to do. All right. Maintenance tech is on his way to... Unlock your office, Mr. Murphy. Then I'll just have a look around inside. Shit! I've got to get Sophie's camera out of there! Somehow. Unless you have a key card, Miss Caulfield. Sorry, I don't think we've been introduced, Mr. That's Detective. Detective Vince Alderman with Vermont State Police. I'll be handling your friend Sophia's case from now on. I'm sorry for your loss, by the way. Moses and I already spoke to police. Several times. Max, it's okay. And I'll be speaking to Mr. Murphy. 
quite a bit more today. Miss Caulfield, I do need you to leave the area for the time being. Will you be okay? Mr. Murphy will be fine. I'll come back. Promise. Okay. Now's my chance to get into Moses' office. Where's a place I can shift to the other timeline? are heavy duty. I can't see anything through them. Is all this going to change now that Alderman's on the case? Open into Moses' office, I think. The 
are locked, and Alderman would hear them opening. I need another way. Caledon campus in winter. I used to think this was beautiful. Now it just makes me think of Safi. Definitely the right call. No one feels like partying so soon after Safi's death. This is a private conversation, Miss Caulfield. Excuse me, you... You're not trying to impede a law enforcement officer. Are you? All right, all right. Jeez. This is a private conversation. Maybe I can find a way into Moses' office from this side. This Moses can help me find the camera. Oh, hey Max. <laughs> That's annoying. How do you stand it? <laughs> You'd be surprised how quickly you get used to it. I think they call that Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> uh-huh. So... What's up? Actually, I need to ask you kind of a weird question. My favorite kind. Name it. Kinda left field, but if you were gonna hide something personal in this lab, where would you put it? If this is about my dream diary, trust me, you'll never find it. I'd never bring it to campus. You never told me you keep a dream diary. And I never will. Pure conjecture on your part. What is your most prized possession? In here, at least. In here? Uh, probably that mug. My sister made it for me as an early Christmas gift. Oh, that's sweet. Remind me not to get you any mugs for Christmas. Okay, name something in here you wouldn't want, say, Dr. Fia to find. Like, something I keep blocked away? Yes, yes, exactly. That would definitely be my electric kettle. <laughs> Maintenance has no idea where I hide that fire hazard. As I live and breathe, Moses Murphy, rule breaker. I, rule bender, Max, rule bender. Anyway, <laughs> what's with all the questions? Oh. Moses? Need me to hold something, or can I help somehow? Actually, yeah. I need an Allen wrench. On it. Um, got one around here? No, I borrowed one from Carla, but I think she took it back. If you can go grab that from her, I'll owe you. Okay. I can't go looking around for Carla. I need a faster way to get Moses a wrench. 
I bet Moses knows something interesting about every one of these stars. Hang in there, Moses. I'm getting you that wrench. Where do you keep your kettle? Hang on, Max. I gotta adjust my grip. Crap. I don't even know if Carla's still on campus. That wrench might be gone for good. This is pretty impressive. A lot more complicated than I would have thought. I can't get over how busy everyone is in this timeline. Did I forget what normal life is like? The maker of this mug sure knows her target audience. These are cute. Moses' sister must have visited. I bet Moses covered his bedroom with these as a kid. Just need to get Moses that wrench. God, I bet every sad poem she ever wrote is being used to justify the suicide angle. I thought I'd never hear another dirty joke about this thing. But Safi's alive here. So this is how you set up the infamous depressed chess. Moses might actually hate snack residue on his fingers more than he hates scientifically inaccurate movies. I can see why this character is Moses' favorite. He's always looking up. Love this cozy little donut corner. I need to get that Allen wrench, and I need to be quick. For astronomers who hate the outdoors. If the tea kettle was a fire hazard, I guess a heat lamp is out of the question. My birthday gift to Moses. I could tell how badly he wanted to say, but the moon doesn't emit its own light. Oh, Moses, what a horrible reminder. I remember her wearing this earlier that night. What? Bitch, you did not just- Relax. It was a picture of the mugs you two were drinking out of. Good. Ugh, I would rather murder all my students with my bare hands than grade one more final. Oh no. Were you two up all night? Yeah. And I'll be working on these astronomy finals until sundown. What I'd give to be pulling an all-nighter grading papers instead of- all of this. On a good day, that 3D printer would be making all kinds of cool stuff. But today is not a good day over here. Aw, Maggie's cute. They're all cute, really. Oh, to be a tiny plant in a vial, protected by a team of high-tech androids. Hmm. 
Moses said living on his own for the first time was harder than the astrophysics. It hurts to look at this. Safi was going to help put up the ornaments. I can do it for her. Moses was so excited when this came out. I think he bought seven copies. I feel like I understand this now. Maybe I've gotten smarter with age. I bet Moses knows something interesting about every one of these stars. The maker of this mug sure knows her target audience. This must be for working on the mural. Did Moses draw this? This is beautiful. Hmm. It'd be better from another angle. Hmm. It'd be better from another angle. Better give this wrench to Moses. This must have been dropped off while Moses was out. I bet Moses covered his bedroom with these as a kid. Better give- Ooh, there we go. Moses and Safi. So different, and yet so well suited. For astronomers who hate the outdoors. The wonders of modern technology That's have rendered still us annoying. a turtle with a gun. Harold's dishes. I've heard so many jokes about this mysterious office mate that I don't know what's true anymore. There's no way Yasmin would be okay with how Alderman is treating him. Moses is her prodigy. Yeah, this is why I'm not a physicist. Oh my god, stop! So I found this guy named Alan, but he didn't know anything about a wrench. No, Max, not literally Alan, it's... Oh. <laughs> you are a lifesaver, Max. Dad joke aside. I'll never apologize for my dad jokes. And you're welcome. Mural goes here. What's that about? Safi's baby. She had the bright idea that we should draw the Gemini twins up there. I didn't know you had an artistic side. Long dormant. Comes with being the only scientist in a family of artsy-fartsy types. Anyway, 
I'm sure we'll get to it at some point. We have all the time in the world. So, did you want some tea? Um, yeah, if you don't mind. W with the contraband kettle, right? Just give me just a second. Sure. So the cabinet is a secret heart. Definitely need that. I should check this cabinet on the other side. Hopefully the camera's in there. Thank God for this, Moses. I couldn't do this without him. Will it distract you if I talk? Should be fine. What's up? That telescope. How long have you been working on it? A couple days. Why? Is there anything special about it? A better question would be, what isn't special about it? Misunderstood in its heyday, due in part to its experimental lens design, it's only now being lauded as the revelation it is. Underestimated and later appreciated. May we all be so lucky. <laughs> So, the mural, what's the story there? I made the mistake of telling Safi I used to want to be a comic book artist, as she found a project that would force me to draw. Hmm. We're going to use my star projector to trace the constellation and then draw the twins around it. And Gemini, what's the significance? Really, I chose it because there are two of us and we'd be working on it together. But Safi imbued it with meaning, the scientist and the poet. Duality. She sells it better than me. I'll let you get back to it. Oh, why is it so happy? I really hope the camera's in here. Damn. This note wasn't here in the other timeline. That can't be a coincidence. Is this where he hid Sophie's camera? Okay, the camera might be under a safe. Where can I find this safe? Hey, Moses. Tell me 
Another strange question. Um, you don't have a safe in here, do you? The locking kind? No. Are there non-locking safes? Well, for a second, I thought you were asking about the star safe. S-A-I-P-H. There's a star called safe. Sure is. It's a part of the Orion constellation. What the? You've been popcorned. <laughs> Engineering wants a prank war. I'm trying not to sink to their level. <laughs> Gonna go clean this out. So Moses hid the camera under a star. And of course, there are stars everywhere. Yeah, this is why I'm not a physicist. Oh my god, stop! They're safe. Is the camera around here on the other side? This is pretty impressive. A lot more complicated than I would have thought. Well, it's a star. Maybe the other Moses hid the camera around here. There's so many. Is the camera in here? Come on, Moses. Where did you hide it? And they're safe on the lower left. They're safe! Please let this mean I'm one step closer to the camera. Right, because that would have been too easy. At least Moses hid the camera well, wherever it is. Was that you? I thought I heard something. The mural. Moses must have projected some stars to use as a guide. Moses said safe is part of Orion? Maybe Orion was projected on the wall that night. I need to set this up exactly how Moses had it when he was drawing.
Oh, guess I can't move it farther right. Oh, I'm too far to the right. Just need to get this lined up with the mural. I think I got it. Fingers crossed I can find safe on that wall. And they're safe on the lower left. So if this is Orion, then safe is... Boom. Good job finding safe, Max. Why, thank you, Max. Now then. No, no, no! Shit, I can't let him see me in here. Got to get out of here. I'm so close to getting Safi's camera. If I can just distract him for a few minutes, I think I can grab it. I'll need something noisy. Alright, you're coming with me. That's pretty noisy. Good thing I can keep an eye on Alderman from here. Wouldn't want to show up right in front of him. Here goes. What the hell? And now I need to shift out of here fast. Time to finally get what I came here for in the first place. Need to move this as quickly and quietly as possible. The camera is so close. Hey! Is someone down there? Stupid telescope! Why couldn't Moses have put you together in this timeline? Fuck. Fuck. 
That's... That's new. Yes! Holy shit! The telescope and all the parts switched places. Gotta run. Sorry, I... I'll text you. Yo, what? Moses. Caulfield, can I speak with you for a minute? You should go. Please, have a seat. I just wanted you to have a chance to talk to me alone. Because Miss Llewellyn was a close friend of yours. We have a sensitive situation. We know Miss Llewellyn's camera was taken by someone closely linked to her death. Now, I'm pretty certain I know who took it and why. Maybe you've even guessed my thinking. But if we're going to make any progress on your friend's case, that's not enough. Therefore, I'm asking you, if you have or come by any information about this person or where they've taken the camera, can I trust you to let me know? Miss Caulfield.
<laughs> okay, Miss Caulfield. I hope you don't actually have information. Because, you know, withholding it could get you into trouble. What kind of trouble? Well, depending on the information, we could be talking obstruction. But I'm sure we're not in that kind of situation. That's everything. I believe I'm free to go, right? Yes. You are. Thanks again for your time, Miss Caulfield. Have a good day. Oh. Oh, shit. Moses, wait. Okay, let's download Safi's photos onto your computer, yeah? Or... You go ahead. I need a minute to get my thoughts in order. I'll join you soon. Okay. I picked up so many things today. She's got a sixth sense for bugging me at the absolute worst time. Best lay it all out and see if it gets me anywhere. Oh, Neb. You have such sage eyes. I know you're not a magic eight ball, but can you pretend? Is all this gonna turn out okay? Outlook not so good? Shit, Neb. I could have told you that. Don't feel bad, Neb. I've got a bad feeling about this, too. 
I can't remember when it's been this clean, but it'd be the perfect place to put all my, uh... Okay, Max, let's see what we've got. Okay, uh, that is certainly some kind of fact. I guess I understand now why Gwen was so adamant about getting her book out of the case. I still don't understand why Gwen would do this to Sophie. Especially since she helped her get the book deal in the first place. This was meant to be a loud message. But from who? And what does it mean? <laughs> Figures there'd be copies all over campus. Lucas, I really don't think he's the one who smashed Sophie's windshield. I know Vin and Abraxas are entangled in everything that's happening. I just don't understand how yet. I probably shouldn't leave all this out in the open. Maybe if I step away for a bit, these will all make sense later. Hope Moses is doing alright. I should go see if he's gotten Sophie's camera hooked up yet. Oh my god, Max. How many of these movies are there? It's a horror franchise, Sophie. They don't get good until at least the third one. The real horror is that they found a way to make three of these. Five, actually. So, is this the one where they finally explain how he's still walking around with no head, or...? Before she died, Moses was more Sophie's friend. Here, we're all thick as thieves. Wish we'd had a chance to get to this point in our world. This is your new power, Max Caulfield. Saving lost cats in other dimensions? <laughs> Time to greet our furry friend. I hope the cat's okay. Oh, wow. I guess I haven't been home in this world for a couple days. It's like a time capsule of the day Sophie died. Weird. We took in a little liquid courage before the bowling alley shoot. I loved telling Sophie how the lens can totally change your perception of a subject. I loved that she didn't need me to explain why that was powerful. Man fears time. Time fears the pyramids. The pyramids fear this plant. I should crack those open eventually. Sophie's alive here, and she might ask me what I thought. Who 
Who's out there? Oh, look at you. That's a... I should have guessed, Siamese. You being so chatty and all. Are you a refugee? Or a fugitive? Mm, no collar, huh? So... What do I call you? How about Iris? A little bit of elegance. Oh, right. Affection. What was I thinking? <laughs> well, if you're staying, I should probably consider a couple of cat quality of life changes. Do cats like cushions? There, a bed fit for a king. Poor little guy. Hey, Iris. Mind if I get a photo? Can you do a big stretch for me? Worth a try. Poor little guy. It's been a minute since I exhibited in a gallery gallery, but Dr. Preston was excited I barely use this swanky kitchen at all, but hopefully I have something cat-friendly. This should do the trick. Here, kitty kitty. Chow time. See? We can be friends. Oh, okay. You go ahead and eat whenever you're hungry. With Safi alive in this timeline, I, I don't even know what to put here, if anything.
If there's a silver lining, it's that I've got another chance to take a proper candid of you. Check in with living Sophie to my own. No cat can resist fucking up a perfectly good roll of toilet paper. <laughs> Moses is waiting for me in the other, uh, world. My dark room here is empty. Gee, it sure will be a shame to miss that talk. I can't say it was the brightest idea, especially for an astrophysicist, but I am glad Moses got Sophie's camera. Moses? You okay? Is it weird that I'm low-key nervous? About seeing Safi's, you know, final pictures? Far from it. Safi was special to us. To everyone. But I meant, are you okay, okay? No. I, I will be. I think. I'm here if you need to vent. I lose one of my closest friends. And when I should be processing my grief, I'm being interrogated by this... Appreciate you standing up to him. My pleasure. You didn't need to deal with any of that. Not then, not ever. <sighs> How about we see if Sophie's selfie skills are better than mine? <laughs> Somehow I doubt it. Hard to believe that would be the last time we were all together. That's the truth. What a crew we were. Hey, look. She took one more photo. Sneaky girl. What is this?
Max, you... You killed her? What? No! Of course not! So that... that... It's Photoshop! A deep fake, maybe. I don't know. So this is why you went and got the camera? No, Moses. Please. This is me you're talking about. Me. There's a lot I don't know about you. But you know I wouldn't do something like that. I could never. Stay the fuck away from me!